In the sanctuary of bed and bathroom, just past midnight, time to enjoy quiet, time to enjoy alone, time to be naked. Think about what 35 years can do to a black girl's heart. What does that many stilettos and summers do to ball and heel of a foot ashen from too hot shower during December in the desert, sure of every inch of her body, she meditates in harmony with breath and heartbeat in three parts. Her thoughts clatter against working class walls, recalls the giggles and smiles on the birthday boy's face. Twenty dollars in exchange for the magic she made, love and happiness lulled a whole house to sleep. Satisfied with the silence, grateful for an empty bed, warm room and cool sheets. Downpour of hot water is the promise of survival, time to steam and sweat and scrub, slough away the rough underside of errands and meal plans, there used to be time to extract blackheads. There used to be time to tweeze errant hairs, there used to be time for imported coconut and pineapple sugar scrubbed against the back of her thighs where the skin is stubborn. Gray hairs are also stubborn. Grown men and small children are just as stubborn. She sautés dinner, flesh and ego until tender, until the honey pours fast and covers everything, until everybody else gets what she gives, welcomes the near scalding water, welcomes the guilt of such a commodity, welcomes the immediacy of her ambivalence sings louder to drown guilt and tears. The only place they die is standing up in the shower. She needs coconut oil and body butter into her hind parts and pushes the thanklessness of the previous 36 hours down and out through the tips of her unpainted toes. How she misses pedicures. She anoints her temple with scented oil and prays for courage without callus, performs alchemy between her palms, oil and water infused while she hums. She will forget this melody once the jars of, and tubes of salve have been stowed and the steam evaporates and the mirror reveals dark circles of eyes and nipples and the ornery skin on the back of her thigh lifts goose pimples. One final pass over every part. Neck shoulders, breasts, back of arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, each side, abdomen. Spend more time in this place. Check the healing progress of five small scars splayed across a torso devoid of stretch marks, evidence of an attempt to preserve fertility, evidence of an exercise in futility, evidence of what remains inside. She turns sideways to see how happy she could imagine herself if her stomach were to spread from the inside with more than what remains, with life this time, with a miracle for her. Hips, ass, thighs, knees, calves, heels, soles, and toes. Reads her body like braille. Remembers the deaths she has survived. Dresses the wounds, oils the scars. Repeats the truth as she now knows it. Keeps a log of where the exits are. Sleeps naked to tempt the empty side of cool sheets in a warm room.